We returned to the Master Chef kitchen and we had to decide on which of the dishes that were presented to us by Chef Mako Yansa. Welcome back, contestants. It's pressure enough having to cook one of her signature dishes. Not only that, she's going to be there to taste it. You will each need to create a course from Chef Mako's menu. Suan, what was your choice and why did you choose that dish? I have chosen to go with the beetroot starter that we had. It's an incredibly beautiful dish to look at and you can see the time and the detail that went into it. But I also know recreating that beetroot sponge is going to be a push for me. And if I'm going to make it into the finale, I want to do it knowing that I stretched myself. I'm scared of delicate work because I'm a little bit heavy handed, but I knew that it was the one I'd be really proud of whether it kept me in the competition or not. Manisha. Yes, Chef. What was your choice and why did you choose that? Uh, I chose the quail dish, Chef. It's the kind of food that I want to be able to do one day. I want to be able to put together those kind of bold flavors and textures and make it work together. So, like Swan says, if I'm going to get into the final, I want it to be on something I've done that is spectacular and maybe a little bit beyond me. It's the kind of dish that I would like to cook at some point. I might as well start now. Dina. The baobab and pear parfait for so many reasons. It has a lot of complexity. If I am able to successfully plate that dish and replicate it, then I think I have earned my position in the final.